dear students uh, welcome to ten film technology course a uh, lecture number 21 uh, in this lectures uh, uh, we will discuss about introductions uh, to spark rings and dc plasma as a part of ten film depositions techniques i'm dr Pravez emer so let's start today's lectures uh, first of all in this lectures uh, we will discuss about mechanism of spark rings and allied spark ring so, uh, uh, what actually happens, uh, I mean, as we uh, discussed in the last lecture, uh, that is, uh, in a sputtering uh, process, mainly the iron impact may be set up, uh, a series of collisions between the atom of the target, possibly leading to the ejection of some of these atoms. Uh, this ejection process is known as uh, the sputtering. Let me repeat it again. What actually happens, or uh, what is basically the mechanism of the spark ring? Uh, the ion impact uh, may set up a series of collisions between the atom of the target. Uh, so that collision possibly leading to the ejection of some of uh, the atoms. Uh, this ejection process is known as uh, spark ring. So uh, uh, that the, uh, uh, the, the definitions, uh, I mean, it, this can be taken as a depositions. Uh, as a uh, definitions for the sputtering process, so all that uh, I mean is here described clearly described here in this particular, uh, this particular figure. Uh, that uh, normally we have uh, I mean the atom the tar the, the the targets atoms uh, that's and be in line in a particular lattice. So what what actually we have we have incidence ion, and then incident ions that means uh, we are DC supply they're being accelerated toward the target the strike here so as a result when they strike uh, so they reflect it back I uh, means uh, when they're striking eject the atom the ejected atom we call it sputter atoms from the surface and the ions is being reflected so during the reflections uh, it's been uh, I mean the reflected ions uh, becomes a neutrals uh, and we have as a result we also have secondary electrons uh, so th this this is how the sputtering process uh, the sputtering process occur so uh, here we are interested uh, and sputter deposition so of course a sputter can also be used as etching methods I mean that we already discussed that how uh, sputtering can be utilized as an etching uh, as an etching process I mean once you have uh, a particular kind of thin film and you want to do the etching uh, so the etching of that particular uh, thin film can also be achieved by, by a sputtering process uh, and that etching process uh, is basically called uh, sputter etching uh, or sputtering etching uh, so unlike evaporations uh, composition of the alloys and the film is approximately the same as the target I mean uh, this kind of thing was not possible when we were trying to utilize uh, uh, the evaporation uh, techniques. So just like you can see it here, uh, we have two mechanism that is before surface uh, before surface equilibrium. So you can see that on one side we have high yield materials and the other side low yield materials. Uh, so uh, uh, when we have uh, the surface equilibrium, so here you can uh, clearly observe that uh, we have uh, both in equal numbers. Uh, I mean, so here you can see that high yield materials uh, low yield materials so uh, both have uh, actually the, both, both of them they are in uh, equilibrium so unlike that uh, I mean both of them is being in equilibrium here so this is why we are saying that uh, unlike the operations the compositions of the alloy uh, film is approximately the same as the target I mean this this was happening uh, I mean something like this was happening in the evaporations but unlike that, this is not happening here in the uh, sputtering techniques because in sputtering techniques uh, we have surface equilibrium. So that's why we, we have almost the same com uh, uh, we have almost the same compositions and the uh, and the product materials as we have the source material. So that's why we are saying that uh, target uh, not melted, slow diffusion, uh, slow diffusions. So no materials flow or mixing. So when target reaches steady state, surface compositions balance uh, sputter yields. So th that's why uh, we're saying that we have uh, equal numbers of the uh, products yield. And it's because of the target, that, that is when target reaches a steady state, so surface compositions uh, balance uh, the sputtering yields. 
DC plasma, uh, what is DC plasma? Uh, you know that uh, plasma is ionized gas uh, with nearly equal number of the ions and the electrons uh, plus neutrals. Uh, by neutrals, we mean unionized molecules, including those at uh, the ground state and excited states, uh, free radicals such as uh, atomic oxygens, hydrogens, chlorines, uh, but no free radicals for the argon plasma. So here you, you can see that it's a journal setup for uh, for the DC plasma. So here you can see the different part. I mean, we can, we can start it here. Uh, it's the a cathode. Uh, this one is the cathode target. And along the cathode, we, we, we have uh, the cathode glow. And uh, similarly, this particular sections, uh, uh, I mean, this, this is called, later on we will uh, explain these or we will define them. So this particular region uh, is called ca uh, cathode dark space uh, or uh, sheet. Uh, here, uh, I mean, so these dotted lines, uh, they are, they are basically, uh, they, these are basically the, the argon plasma or negative glow. And here, uh, this is the anode sheet, uh, the anode sheet and, uh, with which we have put the vapors on which we want to deposit the thin film. And you know that this is the uh, anode. So what happened? Uh, glow is due to uh, de excitations of uh, uh, excited organs. Uh, so glow only exists uh, uh, where there are lots of the electron to excite uh, the organ. So you can observe here, uh, I mean, uh, in this particular setup as well. So here we, we are saying that uh, glow, uh, glow only exists where there are a lots of the electrons to excite uh, the organ gas. So here you can uh, observe all the things, uh, I mean, uh, more clearly than the, and the last figure, within this one figure. So here you can see that uh, the plasma, which is basically uh, the sum of uh, positive and negative ions. And you know that we, we supply uh, the positive and negative voltage to the uh, uh, anodes and the cathode. So when the process runs, so uh, you know that electron is uh, decelerated towards uh, the anode, while uh, the, the positive ion that they, they're being accelerated towards the uh, cathode. So we have an ion impact, uh, the ion effect basically uh, results in the uh, electrons emissions. So cathode uh, glow regions, uh, which is normally this one, uh, this is the cathode glow regions, and here in, in this particular diagram, it is uh, this particular regions. So what it mean by cathode glow regions or what happened to the cathode, uh, what happened basically in the cathode glow regions. So it's very close to the cathode, uh, just like you can see it here. This is basically the cathode, the cathode target. So along with this cathode, uh, we have uh, these regions. Uh, these regions uh, close to the cathode, uh, we call that cathode uh, glow regions. You can see it here as well. So it's very close to the cathode. So what actually happened here? Secondary electrons are created by the argon bombardment of the target materials. I mean, here we have uh, what the cathode glow regions. Uh, here we basically have the productions of the secondary electrons via the uh, argon bombardments of the target uh, materials. Uh, then we have uh, the dark, uh, the dark, uh, uh, the cathode dark space. Uh, that we also call sheet. Uh, what actually happened here uh, at the cathode dark space? I mean, uh, is this particular regions? So what happened here? Uh, electron passes. Uh, electron pass too fast with lateral excitations. I mean, th this is the regions uh, where uh, the electron fast with a very high speed, uh, with, but with the very later uh, excitations. Uh, then we have an uh, anode sheet. Uh, so what happened with the anode sheet? The anode sheet is this particular regions here. And here is this particular regions. So what happened in the anode sheet? Uh, an anode sheet basically uh, electrons lost to anode uh, due to its faster random movements. I mean, uh, this is the regions or this is the place uh, where electron uh, where electrons are lost to the anode uh, due to its uh, due to its faster random 
uh, momentum. Explanation of the DC plasma structures, uh, uh, you know that uh, we have different velocities in the plasma. So the thermal energy, uh, thermal energy random moments of the argons uh, is equal to a 400 uh, meter uh, per seconds. Uh, thermal energy random moments of the electrons uh, uh, that is equal to uh, 10,000 meter per seconds. So velocity of the argon with the energy 100 electron volt uh, is equal to uh, 20,000 meter per uh, seconds. I mean these are the, the velocities of the, uh, I mean uh, the velocity of the electrons and argons uh, during the, uh, I mean the, the DC plasma are during the, uh, are during the DC uh, plasma sputtering process. So velocity of the electron with energy uh, 100 electron volt uh, is equal to uh, almost, uh, I mean you can see it here. Uh, almost uh, uh, 6 million uh, uh, meter per second. I mean sometimes it's very difficult to recognize the number. Uh, so I mean so we have uh, uh, this high velocity, uh, high velocity of the electron with energy, uh, 100 electron volt. So uh, the, the plasma is highly conducting uh, due to the fast electrons. So very lateral voltage drop in the plasma areas where electrons are, are rich. So voltage drop is only possible near the electrode uh, where electron may lose to the electrode. I mean uh, the electrons, I mean this is the only areas, uh, it's the only possibilities where we say that the voltage drop is uh, possible. So where the voltage drop is possible, uh, it is only near the electrode. And what is the reason? So, and the reason is that uh, where the electrode may last to the uh, electrode. And when the electron, uh, the electron is lost to the electrode, that is to the anode. So there is a possibility for the uh, voltage uh, drop. So uh, even without applied voltage, uh, uh, voltage drop may still exist uh, due to faster random electron moments. Uh, that lead to their uh, loss to electrode. Therefore, uh, the plasma is always positive bias relative to any electrode or anything floating or not inside the plasma. This positive bias will accelerate the positive argon ions uh, to strike uh, the electrode. Uh, but here you can see here in this particular uh, figure, I mean we have the anode positively charged cathode and uh, the positively charged uh, electrode and the cathode negatively charged electrode here you can see that uh, the bias uh, that we denoted by V phi uh, near the anode is very small very small how much small so almost uh, 10 volt so no significant, uh, no significant sputtering of the uh, substrate is possible here. Why? Because the value of the bias is uh, very small. So the total bias that is uh, uh, Vp plus applied voltage is very high. So this high uh, total bias uh, results to sputterings of the uh, cathode. Let me repeat it again. The total um, uh, the total bias is very high leading to sputtering of the uh, cathode target. I mean when the total bias is very high, uh, so uh, it can lead to the sputtering of the uh, cathode target. Requirement for uh, the self-sustaining uh, uh, discharge uh, plasma. Uh, so what are the requirements for the self-sustaining uh, uh, discharge plasma? So here you can see that uh, we have a figure. And these figures uh, we have plot, uh, I mean, uh, in this particular figure, we have uh, the DC background voltage, uh, the DC background breakdown voltage uh, that has been plotted as a function of the gas pressures. I mean, the DC breakdown voltage, this is the DC breakdown voltage, and it is plotted again, uh, uh, are plotted as a function of the pressures and electrode spacing. I mean here P is for the pressure and D is for the electrode spacing for plane parallel electrode and air 
and some other cases. So such chiros are determined ex uh, experimentally and are known as uh, Faustian chiro. I mean, these are known as a Faustian chiro, in which the background voltage, uh, background voltage, they are being plotted as a functions of the gas pressures. Uh, and we remember this is called the Faustian chiro. So what happened here? Uh, Ions make secondary electrons uh, when they bombarded uh, at the target. The electron makes ion when they collide with the organ. So that lead to self-sustained uh, discharge. Condition for sustaining plasma, that is uh, pressures time the electrodes passing should be greater than 0 0.5 centimeter per. For uh, instance, uh, typical uh, target uh, sub, uh, substrate spacing, uh, D is equal to uh, 10 centimeter need uh, pressures greater than uh, 50 millitor. I mean, this, this is the example uh, we, we are saying that. Uh, for instance, I mean, for sustaining the plasma, for sustaining the, the, the uh, self-sustained discharge, uh, we need a typical target spacing that should be equal to uh, approximately equal to 10 centimeters. Uh, which need a pressures uh, that should be greater than 50 millitar. So actual sputtering deposition is usually uh, conducting at a pressures uh, smaller than 10 millitars uh, due to uh, a magnetron. So uh, condition for igniting the plasma, uh, too large uh, P cross D lead to too many collisions that prevents the electron energy uh, build up. Too small of uh, PND, uh, there will be too few collisions that an electron just goes to the wall without ionizing the molecules or the atom, and uh, too uh, few ions to bombard uh, and generate secondary electrons. I mean, this is the conditions of the PND, uh, that is the pressures and the electrode uh, spacings. Uh, I mean, so we are saying that at the pressure and the electrodes are uh, spacing that they are too large, so what will be happening? And if it's too small, so what will uh, result? So first, we are saying that uh, if PND, uh, uh, I mean, is too large, so it may lead to uh, uh, too many collisions that prevent electron energy buildup. But at the same time, we are saying that if PND they, they are too small, so there will be uh, too few collisions. So in such a case, electron just goes to the walls without ionizing the molecules or the atom, uh, and uh, too few ions to bombard and generate secondary electrons. So when this, uh, once the plasma is ignited, it's very conductive, uh, thus voltage drop to order of uh, 100 watts only. So that's all we have for these lectures. Uh, thanks for watching once again. See you in next lectures. Till then, bye bye.